Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. So today we have a few tidbits for various upcoming projects and I use the word tidbit because nothing today is necessarily breaking news but it is interesting, I promise you that. So no more jibber jabber, let's get straight into it. So we begin with the Andor series, we're about a week away from the final trailer and exactly 38 days away from the two episode premiere. The IMDb page for Andor contains the names of various actors and characters that we've not seen before but something that was pointed pointed out to me is that one character is simply listed as Chandrillan Girl for one episode and this character is played by a certain actress called Darcy Fawcett and this caught my attention because we've not seen Chandrilla before in live action. The most famous character we know from that planet is Mon Mothma who as we know is going to have a central role in the Andal show and this makes me wonder if this girl is a younger version of Mon Mothma in a flashback. It would make sense considering this girl is only listed for one episode and given the series is showing us a young Andor they might parallel that with the young Mon Mothma and her childhood on Chandrilla. Now I will say in canon, very little is known about Mon Mothma's childhood and her early life before the Clone Wars, but what we do know is that she was born in 46 BBY. She was born into a political family, her father was an arbiter general in the Republic, and her mother was a governor on the homeworld of Chandrilla. By 32 BBY, Mon Mothma had joined the Republic's Galactic Senate, becoming one of the youngest senators ever to date. At the age of 15, things changed for Mon Mothma. During the winter of that year, Mon Mothma fell in love. She also became infatuated with the sport smash ball, and yes, I'm being serious, and she left politics temporarily. She decided to turn her back on her family's political dynasty, and instead, wanted to become a historian. By the next summer though, she changed her mind and she ended up returning to politics, both because of family pressure and also a genuine love of governance. I'm not too sure how a Mon Mothma flashback would be relevant to the Andal story, but I think it's a strong possibility, and given that so little is known about her childhood, they could really flesh out this part of her life. Now there is also the possibility that this Darcy Fawcett is playing a Chandrillan girl who is a different character. She might just be a constituent or even a citizen if we do end up visiting the planet. Other recent additions to the IMDb page for Andor include a range of new Imperial lieutenants, supervisors and prisoners. You also get the occasional first name, but most of these characters are new that we've not seen before, so speculation would be pointless. And before we move on guys, just to answer a question I've received a couple of times this week, I will be doing full episode breakdowns for Andor, just as I've done for every live action show so far. When week 5 drops, we have Andor and the Bad Batch season 2 on the same day for a few weeks, and I will have to work out a way of doing breakdowns for both. I will try my very best to do both breakdowns on the same day, but if there's too much to cover then I might end up doing one of them the following day, and I might alternate it. I just wish when they have a clash like this, they would do one show on the Wednesday and the other on the Friday, but that's not what Disney have planned. In either case, my dear friends, you can rest assured knowing I will be doing full breakdowns and reviews for both. I'm super excited for this one, and as I said, I think we should be receiving a trailer sometime next week, the full trailer. So now, my dear Megalorians, let's talk about Cal Kestis. Oh yes, Jedi Survivor. And a new action figure may reveal a new gameplay feature as well as a new look for Cal Kestis. Let's dive into it. The much-anticipated sequel to Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, was first revealed a couple of months ago. With a cinematic trailer that teased story developments and featured a mysterious Bacta tank with a mysterious new character, but otherwise left a lot of questions for what the game is going to entail. The fact of the matter is, as fans, we still don't really know what the game is going to bring to the table in terms of gameplay, but a Cal Kestis figure spotted at San Diego Comic Con may reveal a couple of really interesting details. Hasbro have revealed some new figures based on the game, with the Cal Kestis figure of particular interest to fans. Those that look closely at the Cal Kestis figure can see that he's now sporting a short beard, giving him an older look compared to how he appeared in Jedi Fallen Order, a much more mature version of the character compared to the previous game. A more important detail though is the blaster that Kestis has on his hip. In Fallen Order, Cal Kestis's combat was restricted to using his lightsaber and force powers, but the Cal Kestis figure based on the new game has him outfitted with a blaster. While in theory this accessory could be meaningless, this does seem to suggest in the new game, Kestis is going to have a blaster at his disposal, possibly adding an interesting new layer to the combat. The other new figures include a look at Cal Kestis's trusty droid BD-1, a B-1 battle droid, and KX security droid. Presumably the player is going to have to fight these droids at some point in the game, but this is all purely speculation because we simply do not know yet. As previously mentioned, no gameplay has been shown just yet, and it's unsure exactly when we're going to get another trailer where the game is going to be shown off properly. As I covered in a recent video, the rumour is currently that the release date is some point in March of next year, and if that's true, 
then we have to imagine that more information is on the way sooner rather than later, so maybe fans are going to learn more about Cal's new look and Blaster. Personally, I think Cal's new look in this game is awesome. Cameron Monaghan looks epic with the beard and it's symbolic of a new period of Cal's life. One where he's maturing, becoming stronger in the force and his adventures as a result are going to be more epic and daring. The scope of this game is set to be larger than Fallen Order with smoother gameplay, new planets, missions, characters and stakes. Given that it's for next generation consoles only, the developers had less restrictions on what they could do and as a result, the journey our hero and the Mantis crew are going to go on is going to be insane. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for Jedi Survivor. Awesome, awesome stuff. And so now my dear friends, a crazy, crazy wild rumour, take it with a heap load of salt, that's gotten fans online debating vigorously on whether or not this is a good or a bad idea. Even though the source is very unreliable and giant freaking robots rarely get things right, somehow this got out into the zeitgeist and a lot of fans were talking about it. Personally, I give very little credibility to this report, but it is interesting, let's talk about it nonetheless. According to a new report from giant freaking robot, Harry Styles is going to feature in the Andor series. Now, I reached out to a couple of my Andor folks and they categorically say they've not heard anything about this, so it's very likely to be completely false. The report says there are a number of possibilities for Harry Styles to join the show, but they do not give any specific character name or even the kind of role he would be playing. So my verdict is that this is very unlikely to be true. And so finally guys, a tidbit by Daisy Ridley, who reveals a surprising episode 9 The Rise of Skywalker cameo that we didn't know about until now. I came across this on Epic Stream and they say that there's one cameo that actress Daisy Ridley kept a secret for three years. According to the Ray actress, her own father Chris appeared in episode 9 as a pilot. Taking to her official Instagram page, the 30 year old British actress posted a photo of her and her father taken at the Oscars, revealing a surprising Star Wars cameo that very few knew about. Of course, given the fact that Daisy's dad is not an actor, it would have been very hard for fans to spot him, but it's still fun to know that he was in it. <laughs> Meanwhile, following her involvement in the Star Wars franchise, Daisy's been very cryptic and ambiguous on her return to Star Wars in the future. She of course famously said, I will always be Rey, but is she going to come back? Let's wait and see. Kathleen Kennedy and all of the directors for the upcoming Star Wars films are pretty adamant on moving away from the Skywalker saga, but that doesn't mean at some stage she won't return. Let's just wait and see. So as I say guys, Andor is upon us. We've been talking so much about it on the channel recently and that's mainly because there is so much coming out as we approach the release date. I'm sure much more is still to come though as marketing ramps up. I'll keep you guys updated and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new and a massive welcome if you are. We're on the road for 120,000 subscribers. And if you want to support the channel while also getting access to hundreds of videos not found here on YouTube, then click the link down there in the description. But until the next one, my dear friends, may the force be with you always. I'm Star Wars Meg. Have a good one.